Alright, so I'm working on a uh, high def NES modded NES. Uh, Voltar did the mod work and the customer returned it, tried to return it to Voltar, but somehow miscommunicated, got sent around, finally got back to me. So I'm looking at it, trying to figure out what's going on. If, and it has nothing to do with Voltar's mod work. I can already tell that because I've seen this before. And I think before, all I really did was end up like changing around some. Um, um, interposer boards or main boards with some other stock that I had you know and it just seems like it, there was no rhyme or reason to it but as you heard in the last video Kevin wants to blame the um, video the composite video output of the PPU so what I'm gonna try to do and I've already seen that and it's just like um how to explain it? it's kinda like a the whole screen flashes with speckles and it's just a quick on off I mean, you really have to watch for it, and it was doing it right away for me this time. I was playing Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and within, I think it even did it uh, during the intro. As a matter of fact, when I hit start and, and the glove comes through, I think it did it then, and it did it a few times during Glass Joe. And anyway, I want to I want to try to remove the video transistor and see if that fixes it. I already asked the customer and he said, no, I won't use composite. I'd like to have it there, but you know, so if this fixes it, I'll send it back to him fixed, you know, without the transistor and then just offer him, you know, an upgraded interposer down the road. Um, I'll try to get some video of it doing the flash thing first. Okay. Yes, I like to play play with the Game Genie code. This is um, what is it? More power per hit, something like that, or more damage per normal punch. Oh, it already did it! <laughs> Great. So I don't have to play much. There, it did it again. Get a few more here just in case. Uh, oh, there it did. Try to slow this down for a couple frames so you can see what I'm talking about. We don't feel like playing any more of this though. There is the transistor, and it came from those three holes. Right here is pin 21 of the PPU, the bottom side. So it goes to that via there over to that one and then up right there and you can see Voltar pulled the cap and put it on the bottom of the board so it's over like that and it fits, still fits between the uh, cart tray and the motherboard so good to go there let's give it a shot okay let's see if we can uh, run this for a while without the video transistor. New main board, old firmware. Well, I haven't seen the glitch yet, and I'm not really sure I'm expecting to. The problem is, is this is a different main board. The other one, I don't know, it just it went into PAL mode or some craziness, so I had to switch it out, so now I can't really replicate the problem. I bet if I put the video transistor back in there, it would never do it again. So, I'm going to try that, actually. I'm going to put the video transistor back in, make sure that the issue is still there. Alright, so the video transistor is back in, and I think I already seen it do it once. Yep, I just seen it. Yep, there it is. Good and bad news. <laughs> so, new main board. You know what I haven't done though? Shit, I have not. I have not upgraded this main board.
version 2.0 firmware that might make a difference I don't know there it is see it's version 0.1 yeah so we'll do that real quick hopefully that'll not fix it I should say I don't want it to fix the problem I want it to be the video transistor <laughs> so we'll come back in a second okay so we're on version 2 firmware and I thought that had fixed it and just a second ago I seen it do it I haven't seen it yet Okay, <laughs> so I'm not crazy, so I'm going to remove the video transistor again and retry. Okay, video transistor removed. Haven't seen it yet. Quick with this code, the 41 second knockdown can actually be your TKO. Yeah, I've got it. I think if you get him down before 37 seconds, that gives him time to get up, screw around, and then wait for the 41 seconds to hit, and he'll go back. There you go. I have not seen the glitch. I mean, Kevin did say it was very random, you know, depending on the PPU itself, like the chip itself. You know, not necessarily just a rev. It could be the same rev of chip and, and you wouldn't see it between one and two, you know. Two different chips of the same rev. I haven't seen it yet, which is awesome. But, he also said it was dependent on heat. So I also need to let this run for an hour or so, let it get hot. Test it again. furnace kicked on that's that means it's time to shut the camera off <laughs> I'm gonna let this cycle probably just gonna let it cycle the the intro for an hour come back and start it play it see if it ever does it again All right, so that was about, I don't know, it was like 52 minutes worth of video. I was walking in here, I don't know, as often as I could, 
watched it for a few seconds and I never seen a glitch. Well, I haven't seen anything yet, so it's looking pretty good. About the only thing I have left to do is uh, take out the hot, or take out the uh, blinking light wind that I put into it for testing. Put the original Ziff back in there because that's what they paid for. They didn't pay for a blinking light wind, and I don't have any extra to give them. And we'll do some retesting. All right, so I got the uh, the Ziff back in there. I'll play it for a minute, then again I'm going to let it cycle for an hour, get it hot, and then play it again and make sure. Well, I'm going to call it fixed. Um, played it for over two hours, actual play, then let it cycle for an hour, then some more actual play, twice, and I never actually seen the, uh, what, what I'm calling a full screen speckle glitch, just the, the quick full screen of speckles, never seen it after uh, pulling the transistor. So to me, that's proof that what Kevin was talking about in the last update video is actually going to work um, because this does not have the video transistor in it so the fix is going to be that Kevin is going to put the same kind of transistor on the PPU interposer and we will basically eliminate the transistor on the motherboard and then jump the was it the base to emitter or what something like that and then you can still have composite output if you want it if you don't I don't think you have to do anything. I think uh, you can leave the transistor on there, but your composite probably won't work. Going through two transistors, it probably won't work. Um, so I think at this point, I'm just gonna wrap this thing up, send this console back to its owner.